work doesn't stop once you hit your goal weight, that's where the real work begins. What's going on fam, it's Angus Beef here. Thank you so much for stopping by to click on this video. I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna be chatting today <coughs> about the fact that once you've hit your goal weight, right, there is still work to be done. Now, assuming that you're someone that thrives on seeing progress and seeing the return from their efforts and love overcoming new obstacles and problems uh, and just seeing that momentum, well then, assuming that you are that person, rest assured that there is more to come once you've hit your goal weight. So in other words, let's say for example, scenario is that you have completed a fat loss timeline successfully, you've had manageable chunks of being in a calorie deficit, you've looked after your health as best as you possibly can while doing so, and you've been focusing on developing awesome uh, food habits, you've been focusing on getting in lots of water, you've been looking after yourself in terms of sleep and managing stress and being active and lifting often in the gym, that sort of thing, right? So let's assume that you've done that over periods of time to be able to get to your goal weight, all right? And now it's like, ah, you can let your hair down. So absolutely, you should enjoy a period of time of eating at actual maintenance. I encourage probably six months to a year um, because you've worked hard to be able to get yourself to an awesome new set point, all right? Now, obviously in that maintenance period, this is where it's awesome because you'll get to um, eat more carbs, more calories, and eat at your TDE, so your total daily energy expenditure intake, right? And now the goal here is to basically be able to incorporate more foods and more variety of vitamins and minerals and uh, food sources and stuff like that. So that way it sets the stage for what you can actually do next, which is bum, bada, bum, recomposition. So in other words, where you with all these extra calories that you've got coming in compared to what you were previously on in terms of being in a deficit, with all these extra calories coming in, if you're fueling it towards um, gains in your training and pushing harder and improving performance and stuff like that, it's possible where you can actually experience some positive body recomposition with these extra calories that are coming into your body for a period of time. So by body recomposition, I mean where you are losing fat and gaining some muscle at the same time for a period of time, all right? That can actually happen when you're in this sort of phase. And then what is awesome from here if I were you, is actually devoting a period of time to eating just above a uh, like your maintenance intake in favor of chasing a calorie surplus and having a period of time of focusing on muscle building. Because the idea here is that if you can add a bit more extra lean muscle tissue to your frame, not only will it improve your metabolism a bit more, but it will add some more sexy shape to you. And then that way, oh, well, like a lot of people fear approaching like a proper muscle building goal out of fear of gaining a lot of fat and feeling sluggish and stuff like that and this is all stuff that can be negated through giving a shit about your quality of food and through basically having like a maybe like a 10 to 20 percent surplus rather than just like on bulking bra and eating heaps and heaps of food beyond what you actually need in terms of like well yeah like a massive massive surplus that's not necessary if you're, if you're, say, for example, having like a manageable, you know, three to six month period of eating maybe 10 to 20% above your maintenance intake, that's going to be sufficient, especially if it's combined with looking after your health, getting lots of sleep, making gains in the gym, that sort of stuff, right? If you're consistent with that, well, then you will be able to add some natural lean muscle tissue, and then you can have a period of time of maybe like two to four weeks where you eat in a deficit, which is classified in this case as a mini cut and then go back into more timelines of muscle building to be able to enhance your physique even further. And what's really cool here, fam, is obviously when you've got more muscle on your frame, it means that you're gonna be able to then gradually increase your maintenance uh, intake more and more and more and more as you repeat these cycles. So the first time that I hit my, in quotes, goal weight, um, <sighs> Yeah, I was satisfied for maybe like a couple of months and then I was like, you know what, I wanna add some more muscle in this area, I wanna, you know what I mean? And like, and that's the thing, like you just wanna keep improving. And that's what's really awesome once you can master these things in terms of being able to have up your arsenal, the skill of being able to eat, for, eat and train for fat loss, eat and train for maintenance and eat and train for muscle building. What it sets you up is to be in the driver's seat of basically consistent progress into the future. Now, <clears throat> by no means am I saying that 
you're going to have to consistently chase progress forever. It's not necessary, like you can hit your goal weight and then with the strategies that you built up, be able to maintain it as a set point moving forward. But obviously from a health point of view and from a what's gonna keep you alive for as long as possible point of view, it's wise to be able to keep moving forward with the stuff that I said. So that way, not only does it give your mental health something to strive for, because that's the thing, I find that a lot of people start creating the space for you know, weight gain and slowing down and depression and stuff like that when they have no problems to solve in life and when they're kind of just, yeah, cruising along. So maintenance should be enjoyed, absolutely, and for decent lengths of time, but understand that there is no finish line. You have the opportunity to be able to chase progress pretty much forever. There's always ways to improve. There's always ways to be able to keep honing in on progress. Um, but understand that it's like the first time you hit your goal weight, there is opportunity to keep growing further. And I even find for a lot of people, they can't even hit their goal weight because of how much of a grind they're putting their, themselves and their body through in terms of trying to hit their goal weight in the first place. So if you find that your goal weight seems so far away and it's just an exhausting journey trying to get to, consider getting a proper coach to be able to help you go the rest of the way. And then that way equip you with these skills that I said so that you can bulletproof your maintenance and have the tools necessary to keep progressing into the future. Or if you've hit your goal weight already and um, this has inspired you to keep chasing more gains in progress, ho -ho, well then uh, kudos to you, it's time to keep the other progress train rolling. But I hope this has opened up your eyes and given you a bit of perspective around what I've shared here. Please, if it has, let me know in the comment section below and share some questions that you might have around it. But seriously, fam, like, that's what's really exciting about this game and this is why I love um, yeah, what I do so much because I know that I can always keep on improving and then with what I'm mastering, I can instill it into my clients all the more as well um, because that's the thing. Yeah, Welcome to Why Coaching is amazing. So if you're keen to hear some more insight into my anti-diet coaching, check out any of my um, social media links or if you're watching from YouTube, um, excuse me, some of the links in the description below. Otherwise, big love. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video of Anti-Diet TV. Peace, fam.